This tool helps me be more organized than I have ever been before. I've tried a ton of to-do list apps, task management systems and productivity hacks, but this one thing, it actually works for me. I use it to manage my YouTube channel, the Primal Video team, and my personal life. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you why this project management tool works so well and how you can use it to organize your life too. So what is it? The number one tool. It's Mike, my brother. Just kidding. The one tool is ClickUp. So ClickUp, they say, is an all-in-one suite to manage people, projects, and everything in between. And they even say on the website that it's one app to replace them all. And that is exactly my experience. So I've been on this journey of trying and testing different platforms, different apps to try and manage my personal life. But then we've always been using a different tool in the business. So I've always tried to integrate my personal stuff into those platforms too. And I haven't really found anything that works or some will work really well for the business, but it doesn't work for my personal and vice versa. So where I'd always end up is something that would come close to what I needed and tick most of the boxes, but not all of them, meaning that it wasn't something that I was gonna be pumped to open up and use and check in and add tasks and to-do lists and calendar stuff. I just, the moment I stopped using it or stopped checking it, it was pointless to me. So it wasn't that I physically couldn't do what I needed to do in these other platforms, but they didn't work for me with the way that I wanted to work or interact with them. Or they made the process of some of the features more complicated than they needed to be and more complicated than just using your calendar or just using the notes app or a to-do list app. So internally at Primal Video, we used Trello for a long time for our video production workflow. I was then using Todoist, which seemed to work really well for my personal stuff, but really wasn't collaborative enough to be able to get all my work stuff and the team stuff in there as well. So I'd end up using something different for the team and then I'd have my personal stuff on a different platform and I'd be having to duplicate my to-do list stuff from the business into my to-do list stuff with my personal so that I could plan out my day and it became a massive headache having to duplicate stuff and manage multiple platforms and it eventually fell apart because it wasn't easy. We've also used Monday, which was much closer again, almost like a mix of Trello and Todoist with how I was using them combined, but it still didn't tick all the boxes in terms of absolutely nailing what we needed for the business and combining that with what I needed for personal and having it all in the one place. And a lot of the time I just found it clunky to use and almost backwards in thinking on how you had to do some things like set up recurring tasks. Now to speed this up a little bit, we've also tried a ton of other tools like Basecamp, Asana, Rike, Bitrix, and Notion, but they all fell apart in some area or they just didn't work well for us. A lot of them were just too complicated and some of them even lacked a, a simple universal dashboard where you could see everything that's relevant to you all in one place. And some of the others, looking at you, Notion, were just too much of a blank canvas requiring a lot of setup but also with too many options and too much flexibility that it becomes difficult to enforce workflows or processes in a team environment. Now I know Notion is a big favorite right now especially in the productivity space and I can totally see why for individuals it is really powerful but when it came to working with a team with all that flexibility it just didn't work well for us so maybe it's user error. Now I felt the need to quickly jump back in here and stress that this video is not an ad. This is not a paid promotion. We genuinely love this tool. For our business, if the tools and gear that we recommend does have an affiliate link, then we will use it. So if ClickUp does have one, it'll be linked down below. Back to the video. So when I first log into ClickUp now, this is my home, I guess, a dashboard area where I can see any pinned tasks that are important to me. I can see them up here. I've got my calendar, my agenda for today. So I can see what I have on. I can see any trending tasks throughout the organization. I can also see my to-do list for today and any overdue items and things that I have missed. Now I can also customize this up by creating a custom dashboard. So if I come down here to dashboards and open this up, I can create as many of these dashboard areas as I like for either day-to-day -day stuff or for managing a specific project or task. So you can see this dashboard I've created here. This will show the task list for everyone for this week in the organization. I've also got my personal task list over on the side here. I can see any YouTube videos that are ready for me to shoot down the bottom here. And over on the bottom right here, I can see any videos or any content that we want to update inside of our accelerator program. So I like that you get this level of customization to really control whatever data you're pulling into 
to these dashboards, but also how each little element can look as well. And there's also really powerful filtering or searching for each one of these elements so that you're only pulling the data that you want to see. So maybe only the tasks that are assigned to you in here or need to be done by a certain date or certain time. So if I come back up here to spaces, all of this data is pulling from the different spaces you can create or different areas of information. You can see we've got spaces created for video creation. That is our entire video creation process. So if we click on that, we can choose our YouTube videos here. This is our entire YouTube video process from just random topics in the ice box to topics that we're likely going to create videos on, shortlisting them, adding notes. We can see where everything is at. Each individual video is its own card that we can pick up and we can move it around between these different columns, but also so that anyone in the team has the ability to jump in and see where a specific video is at from start or idea right through to release. So if we come back across here to videos here that are ready to shoot, let's look at this one. This is the video I'm shooting right now. So it's got a working title there. This tool runs my life. You can see it's assigned to me. So this is a task or a project for me. We've also got some tags that are assigned here as well. This one already has a thumbnail created. I can click on this and we can get far more information for this specific video too. So we can see our video notes or a script or bullet points or anything that we want to include in the video here. We can also see a discussion with the team here on any ideas or thoughts that they have for the video. So I like that it's one place, not just for managing the tasks so everyone knows what they're doing or everyone knows where something is at at any given time, but it's also a store of information. So everything we need for this task, for this video, is all inside of that card. And this is a very similar setup and workflow to Trello, which we loved for our video creation. And I'll have a video talking through that, which I'll link in the description box below. So we've been able to replicate that over here in ClickUp. So if we go down to general stuff, this is where we've got things like our weekly tasks for the team. So we can see what everyone is working on, what their major tasks are to complete this week. And we have the ability to assign different tasks to different people. So if I need Mike to review a video, I can come down here, add a task and say review, ClickUp, YouTube, video. I can then assign that to Mike. I can give him a due date if I need to. So I can say review this one tomorrow. I can even set the priority on this. So this is a high priority task and I can leave any notes or comments inside this task itself as well. Now there is so much in here, so I'm definitely not covering off on every feature, but another one that we use all the time is the direct integration with Google Drive, which we use for a lot of our storage. So if we come down here to our design space and let's open up our design board here, you can see we've got a very similar setup again to our video creation board. So we can track where each one of our design projects or thumbnail images or Instagram content is at. But if I click on one of these, you can see that we're also able to directly link and integrate with Google Drive where there is the raw files in this case for this image that was created. So everything is kept in its own little bubble, own little capsule so that nothing gets lost and that anyone can find what they need really, really fast. So you can see we've got different spaces set up for marketing and launches, for our design stuff that I've just shown you, for blog posts, for a new website project we're working on, even for our office fit out, the new office space that we purchased. This is our to-do list or task list of all the things that need to happen. Now with these, again, this is fully customizable. So this is just the list view. I could switch it to a board view, like you just saw with the video creation and the design board, or we can customize this up and maybe we'll switch it to a calendar view. So we can see when all the different things are happening in an actual calendar. And we can pick stuff up, we can move it around, we can have direct access to edit, that item just by clicking on it. So it just becomes this amazing, powerful database, I guess, of information that you get to choose how you wanna display it. And there is a mobile app as well, making all of this really accessible when you're on the go. Now for my personal stuff and managing my own task list and to-do list, I just have my own personal space created and it's locked down, it is a private space so that it's only viewable by me. Now I have just cleared this out for the purpose of this video, but in here we can again create lists. It's automatically syncing with my calendar and I can even bring up my entire calendar in here. So again, I'm going to one place, one dashboard, and I'm seeing all the information, the tasks, everything I have to do all in one place. And it's linking in perfectly with the business side of stuff as well. But what I like about this too, is if you are someone who prefers to just use the calendar app, you can create all your tasks and everything in ClickUp and just have them show up in your calendar app. So you're using one to set everything up and the other one is just your viewing tool. So this is your day planning could be in here. 
So we've tried so many different apps and programs out there. We haven't tried all of them because there's new ones that are popping up all the time. So this one isn't necessarily the best one, but this is the best one that we've found right now for managing the work stuff and also my personal stuff, which is an absolute lifesaver, a time saver, a sanity saver. And it is something that now I actually use every single day because it's not a chore which means I'm gonna keep using it. And it's also really affordable, but there's also a decent free plan too. So whether you're someone who's in a similar position to me, looking to mix the business and the personal stuff all in one place so that you don't miss stuff, so that it is simple and easy to use, but so that you can work with teams and build processes and systems all in the one place, then ClickUp could be the perfect tool for you. But it's also something that would work well on either side, just the business or just the personal too. Or even if it's just to streamline your YouTube video creation, where you've got one place where you can log in and just see where everything at so that you're not forgetting stuff you're not missing stuff it could be a big sanity saver for that too so let me know your thoughts down in the description what tool are you currently using or how could you see yourself using ClickUp for your business or your personal life now if you want to learn more about my video creation workflow and how you can streamline that system for yourself too then check out the video linked on screen where we show you our complete video creation process I'll see you in there